What's up, Kiko World? This is Ari, and welcome to Unboxings. And guess what I got? Ba bam! <laughs> This is this month's June BAM box. And I'm not sure what um, this month's theme is, but it's like the BAM box. I don't even care. <laughs> you know? It's like, this is like the box that I am like so excited to get every month because it's like awesome all the time. Although, how am I cutting this? like not cutting what's what's wrong with my trusty knife is the BAM box tape even stronger than my knife <laughs> anyway okay like to win just follow the card in the box the BAM box so you can see that right there hashtag the BAM box and you open it up this is what you see inside Ooh, there's a card there's a one-up card and also there's a pin, a new pin that they're doing. So that's that, let's see. It says, congratulations, you got a one-up card. You have, up, you have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box, and it's red mushroom. So you know, if you have, if you've seen these BAM box unboxings before, you know that if you get a one-up card in your box, one of the items in your um, box are upgraded to a special edition item. So it looks like mine is getting a met of red mushroom. And then I have this truffle shuffle pins. This is June's theme is the 1980s. Okay. The BAM box exclusive hat pin. So this is the exclusive hat pin that we got for um, June's theme, which is the 1980s. It is. What is the, oh, this is from Goonies, right? Truffle Shuffle? I think so. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but let's open up the rest of the box and see what we have. So here is what the rest of the box looks like on the inside. So lots of tissue paper. So this is the BAM box 80s. Winner announced July 8th. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 NES game signed and sketched by Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, so you can win this special gift, and it's probably they have like some social media promotion going on, but you can win this special gift, which is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 NES cartridge signed by the creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And yeah, all you have to do is just post a picture with your favorite item in the BAM box using hashtag the BAM box, which that's not hard to do. Oh my God. Oh, okay. So first of all, uh, before, like the thing that made me say, oh my God, uh, uh, <laughs> I'll get to in a second, but look at these. These are cool. Very 1980s these glasses <laughs> those are super 1980s okay so this is the thing that made me say oh my god when i saw it oh like can i like get this out of here because this is so badass look at this oh my gosh look at this it is like a complete replica of the license plate from back to the future this is so cool. <laughs> I doubt that we could even put it on our car, but yeah, that's pretty badass. Okay, so then we have this, which I think is some kind of artwork, yeah. It's probably signed and numbered, knowing the band box, because they do all of that. Okay, what is this? Uh, okay, it says certificate of authenticity. This certificate is to authenticate this original hand-drawn production animation drawing from the animated series Back to the Future. This artwork is one of a kind, authentic, original piece of art that was used in the production of this cartoon. 
There are no two alike in the world. Wow. And it's from the John Lohman Animation Ink Archive. So you can see that here. That's the certificate of authenticity for this. And then here we have, look at that. So this was actually used in the Back to the Future. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but it was used in the Back to the Future animated series. That is pretty dope. And you see the blue line on there too. Yeah, that's like usually an editor's mark, that blue line. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's cool. That is so freaking cool. Okay, let me take these glasses off because it's like really hard to see in here those on. <laughs> then we have this who you gonna call and it's 444 out of 500. So we didn't get a low number of this, but it looks like Slimer. It's some artwork. It's by Rocky Davies. And this is like original artwork signed by the artist and it's certified by the Bambox CEO, Adam MacArthur. And this is pretty cool. I like how it's done in that kind of 80s style. So that's really cool. I always love, love it, love it, love it when we get artwork that's signed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we have this shot, this still from the Karate Kid when it's like Daniel san is doing that signature pose, that crane pose. <laughs> He's about to do that crane kick. Oh my gosh. So this is pretty, oh, this is really cool. And this is again is certified, has a certificate of authenticity from the Bad Bambot CEO, Adam MacArthur. So, and it's signed by Ralph Macchio. Oh my God. I didn't even, I didn't even know that was Ralph Macchio's signature. I just, you know, because I can't read it, but oh my God, it's Ralph Macchio's signature. What the heck? Oh, my brother, I, you know, I probably will give that to my brother because my brother loved the Karate Kid as a kid. He would watch that tape all day long. He would just play it, put it in the VCR, play it all the way through. Then he would take it out of the VCR, put it in the rewinder because yes, of course, back then we had rewinders because, you know, when you, you don't want to use your VCR to rewind a VHS tape because then you, you ruin your VCR. You wear out your VCR. <laughs> so he take it out, he put it in the rewinder, and then he rewind it all back to the beginning, put it back in the VCR and watch it again. He loved, loved, loved that movie. He could probably still quote that movie today. So yeah, Ralph Macchio, Karate Kid signed photo. From one of the most beloved movie franchises of the 80s comes one of the most memorable moments, the crane kick. Poised to lose the under-18 All-Valley Karate Tournament to Cobra Kai member Johnny Lawrence, Daniel LaRusso digs deep and assumes the crane stance, a technique he observed Mr. Miyagi perform on the beach. This iconic scene is captured in this photo and signed by Ralph Macchio, who played the Karate Kid himself. Awesome. And then the BAM Box exclusive Rocky Davis sign print. Straight from the pen of Rocky Davies, comes this BAM box exclusive signed and numbered Slimer art print. Most will get the original print, while 500 will see the red one-up card for the Ecto Cooler variant. Okay, so that was my um, one-up card because it looks like I received one of the 500 Ecto Cooler um, variant ones. Let me, let me take a look at this. Yeah, because he's, it, the variant, the Ecto Cooler variant He's holding an ecto cooler. That's what he's holding. He's holding an ecto cooler drink. You can see that there. Let me turn that. Yeah, I catch the light a little bit, and you can see that he's holding an ecto, ecto cooler drink. Um, Rocky Davies was born in the late '70s, putting him in prime position to absorb the full decade of the '80s brilliance. He grew up on a pure diet of that era's cartoons, comics, video games, toys, and movies. This Eclectic inspiration led Rocky to constantly fill up sketchbooks, school papers, and every surface he could find with superheroes, monsters, aliens, and the like. 
He has worked with a variety of clients ranging from Disney and Nickelodeon to Tommy Hilfiger and Gold's Gym. So if you can see here, you can see the two different ones that we had available in this box. And yeah, I got the Ecto Cooler one. So that's pretty cool. So then we got out of time, Back to the Future prop replica license plate. Doc Brown didn't stop at converting the DeLorean into a time machine. He made sure he had the proper license plate. You will receive either the iconic out of time full size prop replica license plate or the barcode full size prop replica license plate from the Back to the Future. So uh, I got the just the out of time full size license plate. I didn't get the um, the uh, the barcode one, which I'm glad because I like the out of time one better. This is like my favorite. I love this. I love this. I like that more than I did. But I guess you could see like you could see a little peak of the barcode one when they went back to the future and back to the future too. When they actually went back to the future. Yeah. And then you have retro sense. Well, they did go back to the future in the first Back to the Future. He went to the past and to go back to the future. <laughs> okay, let me stop. <laughs> retro sunglasses. When the 80s are referenced, we think of Valley Girls pop music and pizzerias. Look it up. Seriously, they were amazing. But you can't think of the 80s without bringing up 80s fashion. And what better accessory to don than the required sunglasses after an all-night party? Thank you, New Wave Punk. <laughs> Those sunglasses are pretty special. I don't know if I'll wear them outside anywhere, but they are pretty special. And then exclusive truffle shuffle pin. From artist Nick Kakaza comes one of the most nostalgic scenes from an 80s movie, the truffle shuffle. This famous dance from Chunk in the hit movie, The Goonies, made it into this month's BAM box as the exclusive custom hat pin. So look for a green one-up card for the black and gold numbered variant out of 250. So I didn't get the black and gold numbered variant, but I kind of I kind of like the, the colored version that I did get more than what the black and gold looks like. Cause, yeah, because I mean, you can t you could tell like I knew I knew it was the Goonies, even though it's been like a while since I've seen the Goonies. Um, it, it like occurred to me, you know, I was like, oh, it's this is a Goonies, I think it was it was, it, you know, it was recognizable in this in the color version. It was recognizable that that was chunk. So, yeah. So I think the black and gold one. I mean, you know, that's that's cute if you got it. It's really cute if you got the um, the numbered variant because of course it's rare out of 250. And then we have original pencil sketches. Many of us can quote line after line of our favorite cartoons we watched growing up. For some, it was seen after the fact, but met with the same love. Nostalgia hits as we remember quips and scenes from our favorite characters and in the BAM box is of that piece of history. A hand-drawn original pencil sketch with studio markings used in the making of He-Man, She-Ra, The Real Ghostbusters, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Star Wars Droids, Star Wars Ewoks, My Pet Munster, or Back to the Future. This sketch was turned into animation in the cartoon series and is 100% authentic. This is a one of one item. There is not another one like it in the world. That is freaking awesome. Um, I never watched Back to the Future, the cartoon, full disclosure, but I watched all of these others that they have here. <laughs> and, and, well, except for, I don't remember watching My Pet Monster, but I watched all of these other ones. The Real Ghostbusters was a favorite of mine too. He-Man and She-Ra, of course. Star Wars Ewoks, Star Wars Droids. Yeah, those were favorites of mine. But I don't remember the last two. <laughs> I don't remember ever watching those series. But I'm still very stoked because it looks like mine, my animation cell or my animation drawing, paper drawing, is Marty. And he has a, a some kind of uh, raccoon or raccoon cap on. So that 
I think that's pretty, I think that's still pretty cool. And I love Marty. He's one of my favorite characters from Back to the Future anyway, other than, you know, Doc Brown. But <laughs> so I am still pretty happy. This is always a fun box to open. I really enjoy this box. I really love everything in it. And I mean, even and like I've said before, I don't, you know, I don't even care that we don't even get a pop in this box. This box is just filled with so many surprising items and just really just neat and fun to get every month. And that's what I love about the BAM box. So don't ever change BAM box. <laughs> don't start giving out pops because you know that pops are really cool to get. But then sometimes you're like, oh yeah, I got a pop. Yeah, it's cool. I like. I mean, yeah. You see how many pops I have back here. I'm not gonna turn down a pop. But you know, getting things like this that are really fun and surprising and just like really like speak to the heart of geek fandom. That's just I I really love the way the Bad Box does this, and they get signed artwork. If you're going, I say this all the time and I can't stress enough, if you're going to put artwork in a box, have it signed by the artist, okay? Have it signed by the artist. I mean, you don't even have to have it numbered, but like the band box does, the band box gets like one ups and they have some of them numbered. Just have it signed by the artist or have an, ex if you're going to have an exclusive print, have it signed by the artist. So anyway, love this box. This is great. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you got your BAM box, let me know which one ups did you get. Did you get the gold variant pen? Did you get the numbered artwork? Or, you know, let me know what sketches you got. You know, even take a picture and, and post it on our Facebook and let me know what you um, you got. So yeah, let me know. And, you know, if you're gonna take a picture with some of your items, and use hashtag the band box. Tag Geek Girl World in that post on Facebook too. Because I want to see what you guys get. So thank you for watching. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our website geekgirlworld.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more unboxings. Bye.